The number of fine dust advisories issued is on the rise and the length of the advisories is becoming longer. Emergency fine dust reduction measures were applied and ozone alert was issued in Jeju last year for the first time. Joseph Kim reports. The national government's emergency fine dust reduction measures were applied in March and an ozone alert was issued for the first time in Jeju in May of last year. According to the Jeju Public Health and Environment Research Institute, 52 advisories or warnings on air quality have been issued since the air pollution alert system was introduced in 2015. By type, fine dust advisories were issued three times in 2017 and six times this past year. Ultrafine dust advisories were issued twice in 2018 and seven times last year. The total length of advisories has grown to 139 hours last year. Based on an analysis of the composition of fine dust, the Jeju Public Health and Environment Research Institute says that 28.8% of ultrafine dust comes from vessels and aircraft, 13.1% from incineration, and 12.8% from car emissions. The amount of fine dust observed in Jeju accounts for about 1% of the amount of fine dust nationwide. Experts assume that parts of the dust observed in Jeju flows from outside of the island. The province established a specialized team in August to better respond to and reduce fine dust. The team is now drafting five-year plans to control fine dust. People who plan to spend time outside need to pay closer attention to fine dust exposure as fine dust advisories are expected to be frequently observed this winter in Jeju. Joseph Kim, KCTV.